Hi guys, welcome to the orbit of the coding. My name is Alok Mukhia and today I am going to explain difference between float, double and decimal in C sharp. So float, double and decimals are value type in C sharp. Float type variables can be assigned a value directly. They are derived from the class system dot value type. The value type directly contain a data so the main uh, difference between float double and decimal is the precision is the main difference so you can see float uh, float have size 32 bits and double ha uh, have size 64 bit and and the precision value seven digits for float double 50 to 60 digit and decimal 28 to 29 significant digits and one important point are decimal and float doubles cannot be compared without a cast whereas float and double can decimal also allow the encoding or trailing zero so this is uh, flow this is some basic things in c sharp but sometimes it play a very important role in your requirements and in your projects so i am going to some next slide so before going to next slide, I will explain you some examples in my Visual Studio. So I'm going to Visual Studio and already we have write some examples. We have a declare a double float and decimal value. So I will show you in the example. So some important note is that by default fraction value is a double. So this is the comp by default fraction value is a double so we have declared a double d and we have assigned some value and and if you if you need to declare a float we knew uh, we definitely need to put a suffix f if if you if you are going to declare a float type variables and if you need to declare a decimal type variable you need to suffix m if you didn't assign a suffix suppose I have removed uh, f suffix in a float type declaration then build uh, my project then let's see if you get compiled error so build successfully but you get some error like literal of double type cannot be implicitly convert to float use f suffix to create a literal of this type so you can uh, get a compiler error so when you so carefully when you declare a float type variable you need to put a suffix and same goes to a decimal types if you remove a m suffix then compile the code you can get an error same error so so carefully for that point and also i will show you some examples of precision so i will explain in the last slide precision is the main difference uh, between float double and decimal so i have a declare a variable float variable name is flat name so you can carefully of a name convincing of if you declare any, any data types so i have is it is a by default one f by three so I, i'm going into the metadata of float type then you can see uh, some minimum value and maximum value of float type so this is the mean value of float range and it is the max value so this is the metadata and it, it will also use some different kind of way like parse compared to compared to equals so this is the metadata of float and I'm going to uh, metadata of double then you can see your range as well so this is the mean value and this is the max value of double type and decimal also you can see a range what is that so this is the range of decimal type max value and mean value so I am built my projects and going to start so this is the precision difference like float 
after is 0. It will display after decimal 7 digits and double it will display after decimals uh, 15 digit that that I will show you just on last slide so in decimal that is 28 and 29 digits so that is the significant of digit that uh, I have to recently show in your slides so uh, now your come in mind like you now you now your thoughts now you have your mind we uh, coming many thoughts in your mind so when we use float double and decimal so i will show you the examples it will be better to decide when to use float type double and decimal so decimal uh, in case of financial application it is better to use decimal type because it gives you high level of accuracy and easy to avoid rounding error a uh, decimals are much slower up to 20 times in some tested than a double and float because size is too large so it's slower and double types are probably the most normally used data types for real values and if float it is mostly used in graphic library because very high demand for processing power also use situation that can uh, endure routing errors so if you choose between double and float when to use uh, if you when to use float and when to use double so if you need to you need to better accuracy use double instead of float in modern cpu both data types have almost the same performance the only benefit of using float is that they take up less space so practically matters only if you have got many of them suppose if you have declare many of them close so space is also most important parts you need to carefully so I'm going to next uh, next slide. So, yeah. So it's it's a simple way when to use uh, decimal and when to use float. That is a simple example. Suppose so use decimal for counted value. If you count anything, in that case use decimal. Use float double for measured value. Some example like money. Do we count money or measure money? So yes do we count money so use money so money type is the decimal data types distance do we count distance or measure distance yes we can measure a distance so it is a it is assigning a type float types so that is the basic things you need to or you need to you need to come off your mind when to declare so that is the basic things you need to know so thank you for watching your video don't forget to like and subscribe thanks 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 a lot